Originally, graham crackers are made from graham flour, which is coarsely ground whole wheat flour. This is how I made graham crackers from wheat berries. I used a stone mill to finely grind white wheat and finely sifted the ground wheat into an all-purpose flour. The whole wheat left on the sieve is less refined and processed further when the crackers were assembled into a dough. To assemble the dough, I scaled the wet ingredients, 50 grams maple syrup, 5 grams vanilla extract, and 50 grams of melted butter into a mason jar. I set the jar aside and scaled 50 grams of the coarser ground flour, 50 grams damara sugar, a little Himalayan salt, and pulverized them together in a food processor. This step further refines the sugar and creates a sticky powdered sugar that sticks to the wheat. I scaled 2 grams of baking soda, 5 grams of powdered cinnamon sugar, and 150 grams of stone ground all-purpose flour to the mixing bowl and mixed them in. I transferred the dry ingredients into a mixing bowl. The mixture feels like a slightly sticky flour. I gave the wet ingredients a stir and mixed them into the flour. I find the best way to mix the raw ingredients is to rub them between the palms of my hands. After a few minutes of rubbing, I squeeze the dough to see how it holds together and add just enough water to hold the dough together. The butter and the sugar act like a cement holding the flour together, so adding more water and steam will make the crackers crumble more after they are baked. I gathered the dough up in a rough crumbly ball and brought it together in the middle of my rolling area. Since this is a crumbly cracker dough, I used a piece of parchment to help me roll the dough out. I gently rolled the pin back and forth, stretching the length of the dough. Then I rotated the dough and gently rolled the pin back and forth to stretch the width of the dough. I do this a few more times, shaping the dough with my fingers too, until the dough is about 5 or 6 millimeters thick uniformly. I finished rolling the dough with a dusting of all-purpose flour on the surface of the dough and the rolling pin to make it easier to cut out the crackers. I used a small waffle edge cutter to cut small crackers and tried to cut them as close as possible to get the most crackers out of the dough. The remaining dough I rolled out again and cut out more crackers. I placed the crackers on parchment lined baking sheets. I used a fork to punch holes on the surface so the crackers don't puff up when baking. This process is called docking. I transferred the pans to a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven and baked the crackers for 12 minutes. I let the crackers cool on a wire rack until room temperature. Graham crackers are used in a lot of traditional and antique recipes because they were invented in the 1830s and to this day remain a popular choice. Perfect for tart crust, pie shells, s'mores or a simple snack to dip into coffee. Stored in an airtight container, they will stay fresh for a while. A sweet cracker with a baked maple, cinnamon, butter, and brown sugar taste. 